Hi everybody, in this video I want to talk to you about some changes that have come into play with regards to um, student dependents, international student dependents who travel to the UK. And yes, of course, this is a travel channel. So anything, any changes in the different, different countries that could hinder our holiday or could cause, you know, disruption will be brought to this channel. Reason being, we don't want people to be left disappointed if they were unaware of certain rule changes. Okay, so look, look out for more videos like this one. So in this, so as of the 1st of January, the, the, um, the government of the UK have introduced some changes that could affect the number of dependents who enter the UK on a student visa. So there are now some restrictions as of the 1st of January, 2024, only students, international students studying on a postgrad program or a PhD will be allowed to take their dependence with them. However, in order for those people to qualify to take their dependence, the program that they are studying must be more than nine months in duration. And that's not all. In order for people to qualify as dependents to enter the country, so even though you are actually studying and postgrad, you are doing a PhD, it is not an automatic thing. The people who are classified as your dependents will be children under the age of 18. So if you have your son, you have your daughter, but they are married, they are adults, unfortunately, they will not be classified as dependents and you will not be able to take them with you on, you know, you will not be able to see them as dependents. So I've said children under the age of 18, a spouse, long-term partner, they can come to the UK as your dependent. So that's one rule. Another rule change, and I'm looking at three of them. In order after the postgrad or when you're on your postgrad stay, um, study, you cannot take up a full-time work permit until your study is finished. So you know previously, some people would be able to stop their study, pause their study for a bit to take up like full-time employment because you know an employer actually apply for their work permit or sponsor them. That will no longer be allowed. So you, in order, you can, are allowed to change out your visa, but you must complete the study that you originally came into the country to do before you can take up a work visa. Thirdly, um, you cannot change your, from a student status to an indefinite leave to remain in the country. So you cannot go from a student to indefinite, get, getting indefinite leave. What it means is that it doesn't matter how long your study is, even if it is five years, there is a process. You have to go from a student to probably you go to, to um, being getting a full-time work permit before you can then get your indefinite leave to remain in the country. So these are some of the changes that you must be aware of if you're traveling to the UK. Just be mindful that the law or the rule as it relates to dependence of international students have changed. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that this information has helped. Until I upload another video, my family, remember to like, remember to subscribe if you have not yet done so. If you are also interested in, in exercise videos, workout, home workout, then be sure to check my other channel, We Are A Family. 
So the name of the other channel is Destiny's Touch of Glam TV. So from time to time, you'll see that I share videos from that channel as well. Thank you for watching this video and I say peace.